Hello everyone! So today, I thought I'd share with you my get ready slash back to school makeup and hair tutorial. Since so many of you requested it, I usually wear no makeup or very little, say just a bit of eyeliner, but since it was the first day in pharmacy school, I thought I'd make myself look kinda presentable since I'll have the next four years to go, you know, full on cave woman mode. And here is just a quick close-up of the makeup. For those wondering, I am wearing the Geo Nudie Blues from Angel Contacts. I will go ahead and list all of the product information as usual in the down bar. So let's get started now. First things first, I've got to moisturize my face. Next, I'm mixing a bit of primer and a smidge of foundation in order to apply somewhat of a tinted base for my powder later. I usually skip this step and I just powder my T-zone, but I wanted to show you guys how I go about basically making my own little tinted moisturizer. With my upside down pro concealer, I'll just dot it under my eye area and go in with my flat concealer brush to blend it out. And then I'll use my Sigma Round Kabuki brush to further blend everything in. Okay, time for blush. I love using a nice pigmented cream blush for my cheeks, so I'm just picking up a smidge of that and lightly applying it to my cheeks. I just want a light wash of color. Now time for some bronzer. I'll be using my angled contour brush to apply this to just the hollows of my cheeks. Next up, I'll use a soft fluffy brush to contour my nose just a bit. I'm going to be using my favorite powder, oh crap, um, I'm going to be using my favorite powder to apply just a little bit of that under my eyes and also on my nose and mouth. Then I will go in with my large face powder brush and just apply it all over. I like this because it doesn't pick up too much powder. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and define my brows and groom it and such. Hey baby, how you doing? <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to be using my eyeshadow primer and I'll just apply it with a brush. I usually just use my fingers, but I don't know why I just wanted to use a brush. But now I'm using my Naked 2 palette, my really dingy one, and applying, um, ugh, I, don't, I don't even know what that color was. Okay, I'll be applying tees to the outer edges of my eyes and then I'm going to be lining my eyes with a brown pencil. And it's just really, really simple, just lining my eyes, you know. Look at that concentration. Okay, now onto mascara. I used two different mascaras. I'm using this one because I like the brush for my lower lashes. And then I'm using my NYX Doll Eyes mascara for my upper lashes. And next up, I am whitening my teeth with the Whitening Lightning Dallas Mouse since I've got some time to kill. Um, I usually whiten my teeth while I'm doing my hair, but really, I will just spare you the image of me trying to keep that mouthpiece in while curling my hair. Um, it's really easy for me to use, and I don't get any sensitivity like I did with the other teeth whitening products that I've tried in the past. Um, so I've stuck with this for quite some time. I'm not making commission off of this, but I do have a coupon code for 70% off in the down bar if you are interested. And so now I am going to do my hair. A lot of you have asked me um, how I do my hair, and this is how I do my hair. It doesn't take long. Just look at what I'm doing. I wrap it around the barrel. I've said that really weird. I just wrap it around the barrel keep it in for like five to seven seconds. The less time you keep it in, the looser the curls. Um, and yeah, you can time me right now while I'm curling my hair, but I usually hold it in for what, like maybe five to seven seconds? I don't know. Um, and then I just let it go and I separate my hair when I don't feel lazy, but usually I'm really lazy and this takes about only like 10 minutes of my life. And now I am finally going to be using my NYX Audrey lipstick, my favorite for my lips because I like the color. And then I'm blotting it with a tissue paper because, yeah, heh. I'm done. This is the completed look, but for those that wanted to spice it up a bit more, you could change the lip color to a bolder or deeper shade and throw on some falsies to create a more dressy look. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.